Yo guys, I'm Fasty Rides and welcome along today. We're just outside Castleton, a place called Hope. And uh, I've got a new bike. So if you want to see it, stick around and we'll uh, go out for a ride, eh? Right, so this is the new bike, guys. It's a, it's a BMW S1000 XR, as you can see right there. Yeah, it's an oldish bike, it's one of the originals, but it's done low miles and look at it, it's absolutely spotless. I've got all the pannier luggage for it. It's the Sport SE version. It is an absolute beast. It's got up and down quick shifter, rider modes, uh, it's got all sorts, it's just got everything on it mate, it really has. Let's have a look here. I'll start, well, not start it up, but put the thing on. So as you can see, it's got like uh, all the traction control and everything. Suspension set up, all the information for your trip computer. Uh, cruise control, which is a massive thing. It's got all the modes. It's got dynamic, dynamic pro as well. Uh, and that's just beast mode. It's just wheels up and everything. It's crazy. Hopefully you can hear that. There's too many cars coming past. Yeah, so as you can see, even though I've been riding it for the last two days, it's absolutely mint. It really is mint. So this is what we're going to be having some fun on. So let's get kitted up and we'll go for a ride. Let's get off ski. I'll tell you more about the bike. Yeah, so originally I was only going to look at this bike just to put a leg over it, just to see see if I could fit on it, see if it was too high or something of that nature. Just to see the size of it. And uh I really liked it. I preferably wanted a newer one. But uh, there wasn't any that really tickled my fancy on, uh, on Auto Trader or eBay. Apart from one that was down south at a Triumph garage. And uh, basically, I was talking to them for two or three days to uh, try and get, oh, I haven't fastened up my thing, we'll have to pull over, I haven't fastened up my helmet strap again. Right, so this is Castleton, guys. Bloody lovely little town it is. It gets busy though in summer. It gets real busy here. And we're gonna go up past Winnets Pass and then out towards Chapel in Firth. And then we are going to go, uh, I'm not too sure where we're going to go from then, but anyway, we're going to go for a ride out. But this bike seriously, when you've got it in Dynamic or Dynamic Pro, I don't know if you're going to wear this, but watch when I let off. I'll open my visor. It just pops and farts and... Oh, it's crazy. It makes a right racket, but I love it. <laughs> you go past people and you... Just let it off and it just goes... Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Sounds ace. Right, so that's where we're going. Straight up there, when it's pass. I've got a new mic box in, so hopefully this is better and makes my voice a little clearer. But I am getting a lot of wind noise, to be honest. Look at it, fancy climbing up that, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I ain't got the energy for that shite. <laughs> Birds looking, honestly. 
to see a frigging camera and that's it. Oh, get me in it. We need to pass. Now Richard Vida tells a story about this and I think it goes somewhat like this. Uh, there were a couple that was uh, together. She was from a rich to do family and he was from like a peasant family. Many, many years ago this is. The rich family didn't like it. So they took them both up on the hill and killed them. Yeah, apparently. Not a very pleasant story, is it? But yeah, this is Winnet's Pass. Beautiful. Right, so the bike. What are we on about the bike now? Right, so... Yeah, so it turns out this Triumph garage, they had one, which were a 2018 model. Uh, and it was the Sport SE, as so they advertised it as, and it looked up nice in the pictures, in full red. All the panniers and stuff, okay, they were aftermarket, give you ones, unlike my mine of the BMW ones. Uh, yeah, so we're talking to them a couple of times, and uh, it turns out, I mean, they did tell me this, uh, after the second telephone conversation, that the bike had been dropped in transit so basically what happened is they were moving they were moving shops because they were having theirs redecorated and that took all the bikes over to the harley dealers across the road or wherever and uh yeah they dropped it in a doorway and smashed all the safarian in not smashed it but they kinked this black bit at the top of the tank here a little bit of a kink and uh, yeah, they scratched the fairing a bit, the red fairing, so I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be good to get some uh, money knocked off, I reckon. So then I said, right, I'll ring back tomorrow and we can discuss payment and delivery. Because my friend Neil was all ready to take me down on the back of his RT, BMW. We were going to pick it up and then blast the poem and go out for a ride on the way back. Bearing in mind it's like four hours away. <laughs> well, about three and a half, three. And uh, Blue John Mine. Oh, that's where it is. That's how you get down to it. Right, okay. So it's just off of Winnet's Pass. Yeah, so this train for Gary, so I, I says to him, all right, I'll ring you tomorrow and we'll sort out payment and delivery and all this stuff because it were going in for an MOT and service. So I rung him back, and I says to him, right, have you got the VIN number? This is the third time I've asked for it. That I want to check what um, what options were put on the bike at uh, Edale when the bike was uh, built. Anyway, first thing he says to me, it's not got the blipper. I'm like, what? He says, it's not got the blipper. I said, well, it's a Sport SE. And he says, yeah, but it ain't got the blipper. I says, ah, forget it, mate. Put the phone down, then. I thought, you've dicked me about for three days and three telephone conversations, long conversations, and all them three occasions, I've asked for a list of optional extras that the bike has got on it and the features. And every time they've just said, you know, just blown it off or whatever. So that pissed me off. Anyway, the lad who was selling this bike, so I met him, I went and had a look at it and I couldn't believe how clean it was. It was older than the one that I really wanted. Uh, but the mileage were pretty good. It's only done 15,000 with full service history from BMW. So, after thinking about it, and I sat on it and everything and thought, yeah, it is nice and that. It will, well, he texted me and said, uh, if you're still interested, it's still up for sale. Have, uh, she took it off eBay, basically, because you couldn't be bothered with all, you know, idiots offering him, like, five grand and stuff like that, which I don't blame him. And I says, yeah, okay then. I says, I'll come down and have another look and we'll uh, talk about it. Anyway, as it turns out, 
you know, I, re I got to know him really well and I trusted him because that's the big thing with buying a private bike. You don't know what the hell is going on with it. You don't know what he's done to it, whether he's dropped it and hiding it, hiding all the scratches and stuff, or anything you don't know. So anyway, I spent like a good few hours with him yesterday because we had to go back to my house for stuff and then back to his house and all this lot. And he, he was driving me about, lovely guy, you know, and then uh, we did the deal. And uh, I'm happy as I'm happy as chuck with it. I've been out with it yesterday for a good few hours. Just went squires, went to my mate's Jared's. I would have been out early this morning with it, but I had to go get my hair cut at one o'clock, so I booked in. But the bike is honestly, it just it rides itself so much. You know, it's the it's the big 1,000 cc engine. That's out of the. Uh, S1000 double R BMW, same engine. It's just got less uh, less power, but more torque. And honestly, it's so quick, but it's so beautiful to ride. It's so smooth. It just drops into corners, just holds its line, and that's it. Just goes. Just a lovely all-round bike to ride with a lot of power. And it's got the stock exhaust on and it still sounds absolutely awesome. In fact, my friend Neil likes it that much, he wants to have a test ride on it because he might get one himself. So I said, no worries, you go for it, lad. Yeah, so, absolute mint bike. Got all the kit, so it's going to be good for going touring on and going away for weekends, Scotland, Lake District, might pop up and see Johnny if he decides to have a, a little bit of time off work. He works his ass off, does that lad? I think we're turning left down here. On a bypass, I think. We are. Stay away, see? Yeah, so the bikes, it just hasn't got the sat nav, that's the only option luxury it hasn't got. Everything else it's got, all the rider modes, electronic suspension or semi electronic suspension, uh, all the luggage. Absolutely, man. I love it. I can't wait to go out on a long, a long trip, camping somewhere. Actually, we've got a Matlock at Buxton. Yeah, we'll go that way. Sat nav's gonna go mental, but whatever. Yeah. So earlier on, I came over uh, Home Moss from Halifax and uh, went up Snake Pass. Honestly, bike loved it. Dropped in every corner, weaving in and out, it was mint. Absolutely beautiful. And you know what, I am sorry to see the uh, GSX-R 750 go, but it just wasn't... It wasn't right for what I wanted. In other words, I want to go camping and things like that. And you just can't do that on one of them. Well, you can, I suppose. There's people going around the world on them, but I won't per I, personally, I wouldn't do with it. <laughs> Yeah, so I stopped in home Moss, had a sandwich, cup of coffee. In fact, if you follow me on Instagram, guys, I, uh, I'm not Instagram and uh, Facebook. Links will be in description. I post there regularly. You get the live action as it's happening. National Park. Yeah, 
heard that rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Shite on road there. That's what you can smell. <laughs> Hot manure probably. It's fast. That wasn't even opening it up that. This bike's way too much for me. Too much bike, not enough rider. This back end really feels weirdly twitchy. If I've lost some air in it or something. It didn't. Oh, look at it, it's just winding all over the place. I'm going to pull over because. I think there's something fucking wrong here. That tire is flat as fuck.